Hello everybody, Vikingsman18 here, back in the WWE 2K15 Path of the Warrior 2K Showcase. It is time for the Ultimate Warrior vs. The Undertaker, WWE Live, July 1st, 91. It is a body bag match. Let's go. After being ambushed by The Undertaker and left for dead in an airtight casket, an unlikely ally would emerge to seek retribution for the fallen warrior. The ultimate warrior must do something that neither you or the Undertaker could ever do. And that's simply trust me. In order to understand the dark world of his enemy, the ultimate warrior would have to endure three important tasks. If you're gonna get to heaven, you gotta go through hell. Trust me, my friend. Trust me and let me show you. By facing his fears in the darkness of the casket, the ultimate warrior would arise with the look of the dead man in his eyes. That's the same look. The look of the Undertaker. It's in your eyes, warrior. No longer afraid of the darkness, the ultimate warrior would now have to overcome his fear of death by burying himself alive. Bury me, snake man! Stand your Bury ground, me warrior! Stand your ground! Me. Having mastered his fear of darkness and death, the ultimate warrior would be faced with his final challenge. Go for it. You'll find the answer in the center of the room, warrior. If you want the answer, you'll reach into the coffin and find what the Undertaker is made of. Oh, no what you expected. <laughs> Poisoned by deception and left for dead, the ultimate warrior would rise to face the dead man in a body bag match on July 1st, 1991. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the Body Bag Match. The rules are quite simple. The individual who wins this contest will be that man who puts his opponent incapacitated inside the body bag. And now, introducing the participants to be led down the aisle by Paul Bearer from Death Valley. Weighing 328 pounds, The Undertaker! The Undertaker has had his sights set on the Ultimate Warrior dating all the way back to the spring when the dead man locked Warrior inside an airtight casket. At the risk of questioning Warrior's thought process, he had to know something was up the moment he stepped foot onto the set of Paul Bear's funeral parlor. Weighing 275 pounds, the Ultimate Warrior! Going right after Ultimate Warrior, and look at Warrior pulling Undertaker out of the ring. Oh. And a big right hand from Warrior, and Warrior taking oh. the fight. But Undertaker, what? None of this looks like it's bothering him, King. He's still conscious. Well, he is the dead man, and now Warrior's still taking this fight to the Undertaker. He's seemingly impervious to pain. Ultimate but Undertaker's back at his feet! Oh my god. Alright. The rules of this one are simple, folks. When one man is deemed incapacitated and put inside the body bag, only then can the other man be declared. Just to forewarn you guys right now, my AC unit is on, like it normally always turns on when I'm trying to make a video, so the ambient noise in the background is that. Should end pretty soon though. Ow. Is that the body bag in the corner? Oh, man. Tonight, King, God, look at Taker's hair. Still had the red hair back in 91. Didn't really go black until a little bit after that. Then he went back to red, or ginger, whatever you want to call it, when he became the badass. And then he went black again. And now he's bald. What a sequence of punches! 
punches. Well, I guess he's not bald anymore. After watching his match at WrestleMania 31, he had his uh, hair back like what it looked like back during WrestleMania 20, if you remember that, kind of like the short shoulder length hair. Taker looked great at WrestleMania 31. I was impressed. Much better than WrestleMania 30. That was terrible. Classic pile driver. And Undertaker sat back up again. Maybe the third time the charm, Warrior. And I think that's what the Warrior's thinking. Man, you had to be strong to lift up Taker. He was a big dude. Ultimate Warrior was always strong, though. Even if he got his muscles from. Uh, he had to work for the muscles, but it's well known that he had drug issues, I mean steroid issues. Which is a shame. But it seems like everybody from that time had steroid issues. Especially during that whole scandal. Took my health down. Right now is darkness because I think he's unconscious. Look at Paul Bear, this creep. The bag is laid out in the ring. Oh, another shot by the Undertaker. And it looks like this is over. All the Undertaker has to do is Paul Bear urges him on. It zipped that body bag shut. And the warrior is finished, but look at the warrior. Wait, Cole, there's life left in the warrior. Warrior's fighting out of the body bag. Oh. He's fighting out of the body bag. Warrior's not done yet. Another shot. And the warrior's up. He's out of the bag. He's doing feet. Oh, warrior's on the comeback trail. Let's not forget that the ultimate warrior literally forced one of the all-time greats, Randy Savage, into retirement at WrestleMania 7. So while hard to believe, a win over the Undertaker here may not be all that far-fetched. I still can't believe we've seen the end of the Macho Man. You'd have to think he had plenty more good years left in him. That's what happens when you test the Ultimate Warrior. But speaking of WrestleMania 7, that night, we also saw Undertaker... Hopefully a signature and a finisher right. can knock him out. Jimmy Superfly snuck up. Yeah, what an amazing WrestleMania debut it was for the Undertaker. Judging from the way he tore through Snooker, I'm willing to bet the dead man was what a move. Nobody has been able to stop Undertaker to this point, but Warrior appears to be doing That's it. He's out. Nope, apparently it didn't. And now it is show off time. Don't waste time floating here. I hate how, like, his health, look at it, is all the way down, yet he's not critically damaged. Man, I wish Warrior had more grapple uh, floor moves besides that punch. Undertaker's in that body bag. 
The, the Undertaker's in the body bag, Kay. Ah, Warriors done it. The unthinkable. I honestly don't remember this match at all. He's probably going to lift up Annie. Gotta get back to the timeline menu. Come on. Takes a longer load. Oh lord. <laughs> oh my lord, come on, load. Thank you. That one felt like it took longer than normal. But anyways, guys, as always, I really hope you enjoyed this. Is that Sid? Looks like it. Anyways, guys, like I said, I really hope you enjoyed this episode of uh, 2K Showcase Path of the Warrior. And like always, I'll be seeing you for more later on. Have a good one.